Yes, yes, okay, so we are back with Tutorial Tuesday. You know how we do it. Today, you're learning something insane. It's gonna be three skills to destroy all opponents on the 11 side field. You know how we do We're getting those nutmegs. They look a bit like this. Skill number one, this is a famous one. You'll have seen me use it. This is what it looks like. It is a hidden chop. We're gonna break this down. You're gonna notice that it's not too technical for 11 aside. We've got the studs on. They're not too technical, but they are effective and it's all about your body movement. So bear that in mind. If they don't work, it's probably just body movement. Repeat. The opponent will be in front of us. We've got the ball. We're relatively stationary. It's at that stage where we're not running directly out. Maybe we've controlled it and we've been pressed. What we're gonna do with our strong foot, we're gonna roll across the ball and we're gonna open up our body. You see that opens me up and it looks like I'm ready to go. Because in a second, I'm gonna be running down that wing. I've opened it up, step one, okay? So this looks a bit like this. We've opened up, bow, we're here. What are we gonna do now? Weak foot, inside, step over. And we're gonna step, not just to here, we're gonna step all the way across our other leg. And it's gonna look like we're running. Really has to sell the defender. Boom, and you'll see that when I do it, the ball is still touching my strong foot. It hasn't gone anywhere. I'm not going like this, the ball's over there. I'm keeping it next to my foot, okay? And I'm making sure that my foot, not deadly straight, slightly turned. The ball is resting right here. Now step three is to hit the panel. What it's gonna be, it's gonna be like a Ronaldo chop. Boom, or a slight scoop. It looks a bit like this. So, it's gonna be one, two, three, step. We've got the ball, okay? In 11 aside, if you hit a nutmeg, you need to keep possession. So the aim is that the opponent's gonna think we're going. They're gonna step because of our body movement. We hit it through, but we're still bombing past them to get it because they're gonna be ready to recover. Full speed, it looks a bit like this. Just like that. And the harder you hit it, the more you can move and the more you can burst into that space and hit the panel. I think this is a great one. If they're standing side on with their left foot showing you down the line, it really works. The other way, it's slightly harder, but who knows, you might be able to turn them if you're techie. If you get this one down, hit a panel. You can even use it in panel matches. It's insane. Send it to me. I'll show the best of my page. You know how we do. Second move, two touches, the double roll. Looks a bit like this. This is super effective. It's just one, two. No way would that ever panel someone I hear you ask. Well, here's what it looks like. The last move works because we opened the opponent and they stepped. This is the exact same. We're gonna open them in the opposite direction now though. They're gonna go across like this. They're gonna think that they're able to step, but no, as soon as they step, pan up. So essentially this move, it's used in futsal a lot and it's a lot of fun to be able to execute. With the sole of your foot, with the front studs, you're gonna roll the ball across your body, just a ball roll. And you'll notice that normally when you do a ball roll, you put your foot down and at any point after you put your foot down, the opponent could tackle you. So you'd normally be ready to Go. However, once we're playing the defender, you know, they're here, they're against us, they're close. We need to burst into space. We probably haven't got a pass on, that's why we're trying this move. What's gonna happen is, we're just gonna stand them up, roll, there. Step one, just get used to doing some ball rolls in a straight line. You don't wanna roll it forwards, because that'll cut off your angle for the panel. Straight line, just practice this. And now we're thinking, okay, if they were in front of us, we can imagine a gate, we're gonna roll, push through. This is what it looks like on a defender. <laughs> And as you can see, it's all about shifting the body weight and then putting it through. It's a really nice move, just be used to this. And then on the second one, there you go. Quite hard to generate power, so you've got to put a bit into it when you roll it forwards with your soul. Then you just get used to that, just like so. Pass it back. And that's exactly how we're gonna practice it, just like so. When you hit this move, for me, it's one of the best ones to hit. Because it almost feels like it shouldn't work, but when you get it, it is amazing. Those kids, they just hit that banner, I'll tell you that now. Okay, this is the best move for 11 aside. I tell you now, this is my favorite one, my go-to. If, for example, once again, the defender's there, I'm not necessarily running out, I haven't got a pass on, well, maybe there's a goal behind them, I wanna create some space. What I'm gonna do, this move is the delayed sleep. We're gonna roll it forwards, we're gonna leave it, we're then gonna open up our body and get a shot away, or if they open their legs, we can get a panel. This one's super effective because if they do not open their legs, you can still do an amazing play. If they do open their legs, you can panel them. So it's the best of both worlds. This move, it looks like this. See that I opened up the body because there's no one in front of me to nutmeg. If there was someone to nutmeg, it looked like this. Through the gap, there. So, three key steps. This is my weak foot. If I put my weak foot out forwards, and I remember that spot, put the ball there, okay? This is where we're gonna wanna roll the ball to. So we're gonna take it with our strong foot, we're gonna go across our body, we're gonna roll it, I'm gonna leave the ball, and then I'm gonna touch it, slowly, slowly. So, one, two, three, okay? This is step one. 
and the more you can make it look like you've missed it the better now step two we have to hop forwards because from here we don't have much control with our weak foot we take a small hop forwards i'm going to make this gap smaller just a hit okay it doesn't have to be big so step one and two roll miss touch hop forwards now i can open up my body or i can take the pan up because when you do this move as you can see in this video i put it next to the opponent's legs so the opponent has their legs closed I put it into the danger area, okay? In this area, when the ball's there, they're gonna open. If they open, this is what we'll do. We've rolled it to the danger area, put it there, hopped. Now we're gonna go back with the inside of our foot. We're gonna scoop it through. Just like that. One miss, hop through. However, we're against a tricky defender and it looks a bit like this. They didn't open their legs. Their legs were together. They went in the danger area, they didn't want it. As you can see, we can go one miss, hop. They haven't opened open our body burst into space get the shot so i think this is a great move it's one that i love to use and you'll also see a lot of futsal players use it if futsal players use it it can be used on 11 side pitch you just got to get used to it with a stud but it's definitely doable so i'm going to see if we can get any nutmeg whilst in the world world. so check this out okay so that is it for today's video i hope you have got these skills down when you do get them down send them to me on instagram street panic you know how we do of course don't forget to smash that like button if you learned something comment down below what skills you want to learn next we are still hitting these tutorial tuesdays i know all of you are ballers and i want you to be even better don't forget to subscribe there's going to be a nuts video out on sunday let's go of course stick around because there's going to be some 1v1 skills now and i'm predicting there's some pretty nice ones let's go Turning Boo into a centre back. Yes. Nope. <laughs> ah, put it on your left. Agent. <laughs> the move works. Ah! Not the bill can shoot his leg. <laughs> Away! <laughs> As you can tell, Boo doesn't know about studs up, but whatever. Oh.